Also tonight, we are taking a deeper look at the Oklahoma County Jail. While state inspectors have not been able to get inside, we were, but we didn't get to go everywhere we wanted. News 4's Mecca Thompson joins us now with details. Mecca. Kevin and Jolene, the Oklahoma County Jail has been the spotlight recently for refusing those two health inspections by the state. Here at News 4, we get complaints weekly about the jail. Many detail the terrible conditions inside, some saying they've been bitten by bed bugs during their stay. Today, I went inside the jail to see for myself. Former detainees coming forward about the horrific conditions inside the Oklahoma County Jail. It's just terrible. Uh, mice everywhere, roaches, and bed bugs. Joshua Acreage spent one day in the Oklahoma County Jail for a misdemeanor theft. Whenever I got home, I was just covered in bed bug bites. Sending news for these photos of his body covered in bed bug bites. We went to the Oklahoma County Jail Wednesday morning, and despite asking to be taken to floors and to be shown cells where inmates are currently housed, we were instead taken to a floor that was empty, clean, and being freshly renovated. Communications Director Mark Opgren says detainees and inmates are supposed to report bug issues. We need to know when uh, someone has an issue in their cell. We have on, uh, every cell has a tablet, and, and what, there's a actual, a, uh, a thing you can fill out, a form you can fill out on the tablet that asks, says you have pest control problems. And it goes to our health and safety guys. And then the, uh, the certified sprayer, then they can go attack the problem. Desiree Gaskill spent four days in the Oklahoma County Jail, also for a misdemeanor. It was one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life at almost 35 years old. Gaskill was also bit by bed bugs, sharing her photos with us. She says the pot of bugs in her bed was about this size. Opgren says the Oklahoma County Jail certified sprayer was hired several months ago to fix the problem. His job is to spray on a regular basis. We'll have a regular routine that we'll follow in order to spray, you know, going through the floors. Correct. Well, they, yeah, they don't do every cell weekly. It takes a long time to do over 1,200 cells and then also the other areas too that we're dealing with. He says they also bought new beds to help. These are the new mattresses that, that we purchased about a year ago, so these are in all the cells right now. The detention center also has a disinfection on demand system. Unit managers on each floor are expected to clean cells routinely. And I asked Opgren to take pictures or video of a cell on a floor where inmates are currently being housed. He told me that request would have to go through the jail CEO and she was at a meeting.